Hello, friends. Thank you for joining me as we're talking about the subject of prayer this week, especially prayer for our nation. We've been looking at Ephesians chapter 6, where the Apostle Paul talks about the fact that we don't wrestle with flesh and blood, but spiritual powers. And he calls us to take on the whole armor of God. And he concludes by saying, praying at all times in the Spirit, with all prayer and supplication. What does he mean by all prayer and supplication? Some versions might render that all kinds of prayer or all types of prayer. And I think we get a bit more insight into what the Apostle Paul uh, might mean by looking at 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. Here Paul writes, First of all then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. Notice that Paul uh, refers to four different types or expressions of prayer. Supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings. The differences between these are fairly slight, but I think we can understand supplications to refer to requests, specific uh, requests for needs to be met. The word he uses for prayer here, the Greek word he uses, is the general word for prayer, the one that's most often used in the New Testament. The word he uses for intercession uh, is the word that's used in the book of Hebrews where we're taught that Jesus always lives to make intercession for those of us who are his own, who are believers. So to intercede is to stand before God to plead on behalf of another or on behalf of others. And then finally, the word uh, thanksgiving or thanksgivings, obviously uh, that refers to expressions of gratitude. So Paul says, I'm urging that these four expressions of prayer be made for all people. But then he specifically notes the need to pray for those in authority, for kings and all who are in high positions. And then note what results from praying for those who are in higher positions. That we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. It's up to God's people those of us who are followers of Jesus Christ, to pray for those who are in leadership in various places in our government, <clears throat> locally and nationally, and that can have a significant bearing on life in our nation and in our communities. God has called us to pray for all people with all kinds of prayer, but especially for those who are in high positions. I want to encourage you to do that this week, to join me in making some special time to pray for our nation. And uh, I'd like to ask you to join me as we pray right now. Father, we come in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You've called us to pray for those who are in high positions. We pray that your hand would direct the decisions being made locally in our community, in our state, and at a national level. Lord, would you guide the hearts of our leaders to make decisions that are consistent with your wisdom and your righteousness, your integrity, and your goodness, that we may lead peaceful, quiet lives, godly and dignified in every way. And we ask this in your great and holy name. Amen.